know everybody I go like we. What's up? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope everyone's doing great today. My name is Janelle and I make videos twice a week, sometimes three times a week. And today I'm just basically going to be braiding my hair. No retwist, no interlock, nothing. My club, past couple videos has been like that. No retwist, none of that. Um, because it's not time yet. I'm not due for one yet. So wait, my daughter's phone. Like really? <laughs> this little girl. I didn't even realize the phone was behind me. But anyways, as usual, I start off by spraying my locks or misting my locks with some rose water and then i'm using the jamaican black castor oil with argan oil to seal the moisture in because you know water is a moisturizer and the oil is a sealant to help seal that moisture in and you know as usual i'm just gonna rake the rest oils through my locks i'm gonna spray one more time because i'm gonna braid it and then to take them out, you know, your hair got to be damp when you braid them. So when they come out, when you take them down, I should say, you get some little crimpy curls. So this is the texture of my hair, guys. You can see how fine and soft it is. So, yeah. So basically, I'm just going to start by putting my hair up, sectioning it into two. The front and the back. And then I'm going to start with the back by braiding. Well, oh my God, I can't talk today. I'm going to start by braiding the back of my hair. Oh my gosh, please excuse that little white stain on my sweater. I was eating prior to making this video and I did not realize that I messed up my sweater. I'm always messing up my clothes when I eat. I don't know why I ate before I decided to do this video. Please ignore that, please. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so once I get to the end of the braid, I'm just gonna basically do a lock knot at the ends. Some of my locks are longer than some. So I'm going to end up with like some of the braids having just one strand of lock sticking out at the end. So what I do, I basically just fold it and do a lock knot like I did previously. Because a lot of my locks, they're not even at all. Some are long, some are short, you know what I'm saying? So we got to deal with it somehow. So I do the lock knot at the tip. Not all of them have a lock knot. Some of them. And for the elastics, I'm not doing them tight at all because <laughs> I learned my lesson not to do elastics tight, the rubber bands, because they do cause dents in your lock. I got breakage from that, doing the rubber bands too tight. So I'm going to find an alternative to rubber bands because I really want to stop using them. I find they damage your locks a lot and you don't really realize until later on. But I'm going to find an alternative and I'll definitely let you guys know what it is. So I'll have a video coming up um, maybe tomorrow or the day after uh, the products that I use in my hair, like my shampoo and all that stuff. Um, a lot of people ask me what I use in my locks to wash it and all of that. So I will be coming out with a video this week for that. Guys, we're almost at 400 subscribers, y'all. I know. We're almost road to 1,000 subbies, guys. We can do this. You know, don't forget to share, like, comment, subscribe, everything, guys. I know we can do it. And I will be doing a giveaway once I hit 500 subscribers. I will definitely do a giveaway. Oh, my gosh, guys. I'm laughing because I was watching a movie. I can't remember the name of the movie I was watching, but it was funny. <laughs> but, yes. Once I hit uh, 500 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. Let me know what you guys will want me to give away. I'll do a poll on my Instagram. So if you're not following me there, follow me now. I will link it somewhere on the screen and down below in the description box. So I'll definitely be doing a giveaway when we reach 500. So I'm done the back and I'm going to do the front now. I sectioned off the front just so it'll be easier and I won't have locks in the way. You see the little frizzy hairs at the top? A lot of people don't like that, but I love it. You know, like, it's not perfect. I don't think locks should be perfect. Locks should not be perfect, period. I think in the lock community today, a lot of people think locks are perfect and they want their locks to be perfect, but it's not. People don't show you the bad and ugly side of their locks. So if your locks aren't perfect, don't think it's perfect everybody's hair texture is different if you see someone with locks they're thick and they're full but your locks your hair type is not 
thick or full, you're not gonna get the same locks as that person with the thick locks. Hey, guys, do you hear my son calling me? <laughs> so yeah, my son is with me now. So if you hear a little chatting in the background, yeah, like that. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> but like I was saying, do not compare your locks to anyone else's because your hair type or texture may not be the same. So your locks will not come out the same. So if you have fine hair, you might want to go for sister locks or thick locks or bigger locks. It might not be as full as some other people's with thicker hair. So just go for what you feel is comfortable for you. Now, I'm going to have an in-depth video on this coming. Don't worry, guys. I know I don't really talk much, but I'm getting comfortable with the camera. Very comfortable with the camera now. You know, I was a little camera shy before, but I'm getting very comfortable now. So now I'm just going to show you three styles that you can do while you have in these braids in your locks. So there's three simple styles that you can do every day. You don't have to wear your hair down. So hope you like it. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed already, like, comment, share, everything. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace, guys. Peace and love.